Let the record show, this is Assassin Dave jumping in with the ultimate to follow up Lancelot, who got kidnapped, hijacked by the opponent. He's taking a lot of damage under the turret, thanks to the passive. Using the skill 1 to jump on the tower range, immediately activate the skill 2 to get himself to safety, heal up, stay alive, coming back with another skill 1 to finish up the double kill. What incredible play, incredible play brought to you by Assassin Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you. Yo guys, welcome back to another Rotate Like a God video featuring Khan Lead. We're gonna play Khan Lead side lane because we're doing one through one with Lancelot Hyper Carry Mid to show you how to rotate with Khan Lead after the patch. You know, after a lot of hero has been changed, I gotta say this hero is now moving up the stage to become a, one of the best sideliners in the game because the early game is really, really strong. And we'll talk about how this game is all about early games and this is exactly it. In today's video, we'll show you how to leverage the power you have early game and rotate your team fights to help your team gain those advantages and you can use those advantages to eventually win the game. I'm back to full HP, guys. Tail, tail. damage is inconsequential to my damage early game. You have been slain. Well played. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, sometimes you get too cocky, and then, Launch, attack. and then accident happens. You know. <laughs> Revenge. Launch, Revenge. Because the early game cockiness will actually fed a kill to Helker, but it's not a big deal. Right afterwards, make sure you get yourself a level 4 and start rotating to team fights. Over here, we know Helker was dead, and I have actually three healthy minions coming to the tower. I decided to do a little bit more damage to the turret before we head out of the lane. And when you're trying to head out of the lane, you can also walk up the tower and get a little bit more damage to the minion waves. This way, you don't have to wait until the minion wave get out of the tower, so I can rotate a lot faster. You can see what I'm doing here. Uh, I have my skill too, so because I'm holding on to the skill too, I'm not really afraid of the Hellcurt. If he comes to me, silence me, do a little bit of damage, I would just use skill to um, when he ran out of the silence, get all my HP back, and there's nothing he can do to kill me. And I can, in return, use my skill 1 to kill him. So afterwards, I'm going to hide in place and waiting for Hellcurt to show up and looking, getting ready to do my ultimate. You can see right here, he saw that I was ready to use my ultimate. Helker ended up going away, and I supported my team to secure the enemy blue buff and then coming back to lane to clear this lane again. What the? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's do a, do a passive on him. Just for fun. Just for the three of it. Nothing gonna fit with you. Just for the three of it. Going back to bottom. Eastern Shin. Ultimate, not so effective. Side Helker. Look at that. I almost one shot at him, man. I almost one shot at him. What the hell? Tail, tail, tail. 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 Right after you clear bottom wave, it's very, very important for you to start rotating back to mid lane, help your team to see if there's anything going on. Like I said, if there's any team fight going on. You can see right here, we're gonna find a kill onto this box here. Right afterwards, you look at the mini map. Our bottom lane wave still gonna take a while to crash towards the bottom tier one tower, but the top lane, it seems like the enemy marksman and Kaja was way overextended. So we're gonna come over here, take this kill, and immediately start rotating back to the bottom tower. Once again, to defend the bottom tier one tower. Thanks to Kali's passive, we were able to run really, really fast, and that's why I'm able to make it to the bottom side. You know, 
more of a slide motion. Tail, tail. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, oh my god. Loli is so nice, what the hell? Why are you so nice to me, Loli? Tail, tail, tail. Easy dots. The damage is actually through the roof. The skill one damage. Okay, we're gonna do it again. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so one, two, all attack, all attack, three. See? See? Now you can do many. Now you can do many. You know? You, you don't have to just like be complacent with one. You can do like many all attacks in between. Hey, all attack, all attack. See? Another dash. That simple. Damn the damage. Help! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I sacrificed myself. I sacrificed myself! But I sacrificed myself for nothing, actually. After you make the mistakes and you come back alive, make sure to go to the front line to help your team to get more vision and looking to utilize your ultimate to do some damage. Dude, I feel like Kali skill 1 does a lot of damage to the minion wave, a lot of damage to the, to the heroes. Just does no damage to minion for jungle minions for some reason. Like, I feel like I do zero damage to jungle. That's how I feel. The big ult, you know. Tail! 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 Hey. Why is there 4 HP Hulk hurt in the back? What the freak? Surprising! Wow, Dave. Wow. Tail! 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 tail. Yeah. Here we go. Don't get, don't get ulted. On the Lord. Attack the Lord. Well played. Mondelore. Oh, yeah. All right. Tail, tail. Tail, tail, tail. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, my God. Let the record show. Let the record show, this is Assassin Dave jumping in with the ultimate follow up Lancelot who got kidnapped, hijacked by the opponent. He's taking a lot of damage under the turret thanks to the passive. You know skill 1 to jump on the tower range, immediately activate a skill 2 to get himself to safety, heal up, stay alive, coming back with another skill 1 to finish up the double kill. What incredible play, incredible play brought to you by Assassin Dave yet again. Khalid. Khad. Lead. Just for the thrill of it.